in this forecast. Severe weather is returning to the United States today. Flash flooding concerns are building again in portions of the United States. And yet another heat wave is coming to the United States. When will it happen? All of that and more is coming right up. Hey everybody, welcome back to a max velocity weather forecast. And today what we're going over is that severe weather potential over the next several days. And as well as that flash flooding risk across portions of the Ohio Valley today. I'm going to give you the latest breakdown on timing. Everything that you need to know will be in this forecast. Let's hop right into it. So as of right now, there is a slight risk for severe weather today across portions of eastern and southeastern Minnesota. There's also a marginal threat that extends down to Nebraska, goes all the way through northern Minnesota. The main threats today will be damaging winds, isolated large hail, and a couple of tornadoes may also occur later this afternoon into the evening hours. Let's hop right into that timing for this afternoon. We'll start to see some showers and storms develop between about 3 to 5 o'clock this afternoon. Eventually by 6 to 7 o'clock, a bit more of an organized area of storms back near Minneapolis. Again, it'll be more mostly clustered overall, but we may see some damaging winds with those initial cells, with maybe a couple of brief or weak tornadoes as well along with that. By about 8 to 9 o'clock, we'll start to see those storms move into Wisconsin. Here's a look at that timing back out that way and start to see by about six seven o'clock storms entering to western wisconsin by about nine ten o'clock all the storm activities moving into central or western wisconsin i'm not expecting much in terms of severe weather for this area going to the evening hours but we might see an isolated damaging wind gust or two before all those storms weaken out so the overall chance of an mcs or something along those lines is fairly low there's also a marginal threat back out in southern virginia and a good portion of north carolina main threats is damaging winds and a couple of briefer weak tornadoes may also be possible at this direction here's a look at the timing this afternoon we'll start to see some showers and storms developing and start to see north of raleigh and northeast of greensboro we'll start to see some storms developing there those could produce that isolated tornado threat by about three to four o'clock overall just isolated to scattered storms again damaging winds be my main concern but i can't rule out a couple of tornadoes along with that eventually going to the evening hours and after midnight everything should for the most part be clearing out with maybe the exception being eastern virginia seeing maybe an isolated storm or two at that direction there's also a chance for flash flooding later this afternoon into the evening hours across southeastern Kentucky. This area has already been pummeled with rain, and it's going to continue today. There's also a slight risk outside of that. What does that red area mean? It means that there's at least a 40% chance of flash flooding within a 25-mile radius. Again, that includes southeastern Kentucky. We have to watch this area very closely again today. They've already seen so much rain. They are expected to see more rain as well today. Here's a look at the rainfall totals just over the next 24 hours or so, up to about 48 hours from now. You can see the highest rainfall totals estimated currently by computer models is bring it between four to as much as five inches of rain we may see isolated amounts as high as six inches of rain in some areas also here's a look at how much rain we've seen overall so far and you can clearly see the highest rainfall totals have already fallen in southeastern kentucky near pikeville there's been totals as high as like eight to nine inches i mean we're talking very significant rainfall overall with the system unfortunately that is likely to, to continue today hopefully it starts to wind down a little bit though as we head throughout this upcoming week here's a look at the other chance for severe weather heading into tomorrow this may get upgraded to a slight risk by the time you see this but there's a marginal threat currently that includes a large portion of the midwest into the ohio valley main threats likely going to be damaging winds can't rely on isolated large hail or a brief or weak tornado here's a look at the timing going into tomorrow we'll start to see a line of storms over in ohio this really going to the afternoon hours eventually going to the evening hours another line of storms expected to develop near cincinnati that could pose the potential for some damaging winds or even some large hail can't rely on isolated tornado threat eventually that all transitions to the south you'll eventually see those storms heading to kentucky which those areas again do not need rain so hopefully this does weaken out before it ever gets to those locations but otherwise damaging winds being my main concern with that line eventually it should be weakening out though going past about one or two in the morning here's looking at another severe weather potential as well going into the following day going to tuesday there's currently a slight risk for severe weather back in minnesota as of right now just west of minneapolis there's also a marginal threat that includes almost the rest of the state main threats damaging winds maybe a little bit of isolated large hail along with that also here's a look at the temperatures for today for example we are going to be still be very hot across portions of texas you can see temperatures well into the 100s down that direction there is some relief into terms of the heat there's obviously a lot of humidity back out in those portions of the ohio valley a little bit of relief as well back up in north dakota maine as well as anywhere in new england starting to see some 70s and 80s but it does change as we go throughout the week going into this upcoming weekend into saturday temperatures will increase almost across almost all the united states sometime this week but you can kind of see the temperatures again new england staying still fairly cool on saturday midweek it's gonna be a little bit warmer event back down in the central and southern plains temperatures back in the 100s or upper 90s for most of those locations as we do approach the peak of summer all right make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you haven't already this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting and all dense repair